The explosive green Mother of Dragons comet is now visible in the Northern Hemisphere, or the Devil Comet. The green comet 12P Pons Brooks is now visible in the night sky in North America, and here's how to see it. A rare, formerly horned comet that astronomers have dubbed the Mother of Dragons is now visible after dusk in the Northern Hemisphere. This Halley-type comet, officially known as Comet 12P Pons Brooks, completes a single orbit around the Sun every 71 years. The last time it passed by Earth was 1954, according to a statement from European Space Agency ESA. The city-sized comet has a nucleus measuring 10.5 miles, or 70 kilometers wide, and orbits the Sun in an elliptical shape. Recent observations of the comet have revealed a hidden spiral of light surrounding its frigid heart. Like most comets, 12P Pons Brooks is composed of ice, dust, and rock, and its head also has a green appearance. This is due to comets containing diatomic carbon molecules, duos of carbon atoms stuck together, that emit emerald light when exposed to the sun. However, what makes this celestial object stand out is that it's a cryovolcanic or cold volcano comet, meaning that it regularly erupts, spewing the contents of its icy core into space making the comet look brighter than normal. Last July, scientists spotted the comet erupting for the first time in 69 years, and at the time it sprouted horns that earned it the, nick the nickname Devil Comet. Now, the comet has erupted frequently since then, and has earned a reputation for its spectacular outbursts of gas and dust, according to ESA's statement. Prior outbursts have made it appear as if the comet sports a pair of horns, likely due to the notch of ice and rock within the comet that split its frosty ejecta plume into two. The last few eruptions, however, have lacked this feature. ESA instead chose the Mother of Dragons moniker, as the comet is thought to be a parent body of the small Kappa Draconids meteor shower, which is active annually between November 29 and December 13. On April 21st, the comet will make its closest approach to the sun, USA Today reports, resulting in its brightest appearance in the sky. The comet is expected to reach its closest point to Earth in June, however, at that point it will no longer be visible in the Northern Hemisphere. ESA notes, and the best time for Northern Hemisphere sky watchers to see this is early April, according to the agency statement. The comet will brighten a bit as it gets closer to the sun, and it should be visible to the naked eye low in the west about an hour after sunset. Paul Chodas, manager of the Center for Near Earth Object Studies, and David Farnocchia, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, Pasadena, California, told CNN in a joint email. You should go to a location away from city lights and with an unobstructed view of the western horizon, they suggest. It would be advisable to use a pair of binoculars since the comet may be hard to locate without binoculars. This is by Jennifer Nalawicki on Live Science. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.